This video will show you how to install the Avast Marine plank fe automatic feeders mixing chamber and mounting platform. First thing we'll do is take the uh, mixing tube and the divider disc that comes shipped inside. I want to press this out. Take out the little brush. And if you push your finger in, you'll be able to push the divider disc out. You can kind of use the, uh, the little output nozzle as a push. Sometimes this can be a little tight. If this disc is tight, a tight fit, you can use a screwdriver, the back end of the screwdriver, and use that to push it out. It makes it a little easier sometimes. Set that aside. The, the divider disc actually becomes the volute for the CJ pump. So we're going to take the CJ pump out of the box. You won't need any of these parts that come with the CJ pump. You'll notice that the pump has a little light gray uh, valve that controls the input. So we're going to pop that off. We're going to need this and the volute that comes installed on the CJ pump we're not going to need. So we will just pop that off. And set it aside, we won't be using it. You take the divider disc and see how there's a little, little square on the CJ pump that lines up with this divider disc. Let's put that on and this snaps in place. Like that. And we take our little valve that controls the input and it replaces right on to the front like that. This allows you to control the flow that the mixing chamber takes in by turning it right to open it or left to close it. Then we take our pump and we push it into the tube all the way down until the drain tube section is flush with the edge of the pipe. power cord is now going to run up the inside of the mixing chamber rather than the outside in the old design. As for the mounting bracket, we have several parts. This is like what we call the square portion that the tube fits into. And we have the top portion that the plank feeder fits into. It's a little mounting block that clamps it to the side of the aquarium. And we have two spacers. We have one spacer that adds a little extra distance between the top and the bottom halves in case you have a plastic rimmed aquarium that's a really thick rim so that this lip can grab up underneath the rim. We added the spacer so that you know, for the really thick ones, there's enough, there's enough space there for this to, to get underneath. And if you have a rimless aquarium, we use this angle bracket spacer and it goes on here. And what this does is it fills in this gap so that when it sits against the wall of a rimless tank, like so, it makes a nice smooth mounting surface for the platform to grab onto. Since we're gonna install it on this, our little, our little rimless aquarium here, we're gonna use the rimless bracket in this example. Next, what we'll do is take the mixing chamber and we'll push it down into the square portion of the platform. We'll push it all the way down so it's flush. And notice that the power cord wants to kind of sit along the, the inside edge of the tube and we want this side to be the side closest to the aquarium wall. to our top half of the platform. Notice there's a groove here now for the power cord. So what we'll do is route the power cord into that groove. We'll take our 
mounting bracket. And two screws. Let me put it all together. Now this power cord, you can kind of pull it so that it's tight. Just so want a nice smooth bend as it goes into the back of the top half of the bracket. Put our fingers over here, and then what we do is take two of our little nuts and put them in the, the little nut traps here. Screwdriver. Tighten one down. They don't have to be really tight, just snug. Put our second nut in. rimless divider inserted in between the two halves of the mounting platform. And we'll take our clamp block, put the two nuts in the, and that actually goes upside down. I put my fingers over it to kind of keep them in place. Hold this up and make sure that you have the power cord trapped between the mounting block and the top of the platform. And put the screws in. Sometimes you have to push the little nut up a little bit for it to grab the screw there. Don't make this super tight yet. You want to be able to slide it a little bit so you can get the spacing on the aquarium about right. Now our second screw. Just enough to so that the nut doesn't fall out when you move it. Okay, so now we have a clamp block that slides. And our power cord is nice and tight along the inside edge of the tube into the back of the platform. And we'll put it on our little rimless aquarium. Just gently rest it on there. Push the mounting block into place just by hand. Now we tighten the top. Fairly snug. Don't strip the screws. And then we come up underneath and tighten with the thumb screws to lock the plank platform in place against the aquarium wall. Now it's just really nice and stable. And we can take our keg feeder unit and sit it on top. And that should do it.